Here's a real quick video showing you how to reset the BMS, which is the battery monitoring system on a Jaguar XF using Jaguar SDD. Uh, the process is the same for any Jaguar, really. So we'll go through this, hit continue. Right, so auto VIN read and let it do its thing. Once this window is loaded, we're going to click on Diagnosis down here. Right, now from left to right, click on Electrical, then click on Battery, then click on Battery Monitoring System, then click on Inaccurate, then click Continue. Let it do its thing. Once it's finished loading all of these, um, this will appear up here, DTCs, click on it. Once you click on that, you'll see service functions appear here. So click on that, let it do its thing. Now here we need to tell it if we've got the uh, tire pressure monitor system fitted. Mine has it fitted, so I'm gonna click tire pressure monitor system is fitted and then hit save. And then it will load up um, a list of things you can do. Okay, so scroll down this list until you find battery monitoring system reset. So we'll scroll down. It's actually under electrical and it's actually called battery slash battery replacement just here. And we're going to click on run over here. And then click agree and then it will load up this page now fyi you need to be running in um internet explorer mode it will not load this page if you're not running on in internet explorer compatibility mode for this page um, if it doesn't load then all you need to do is click on the three dots up here um, and then down here will be run in Internet Explorer mode. This says exit Internet Explorer mode, obviously, because I'm currently running in it. Um, so choose which battery you've replaced, so the main battery or the secondary battery, if you've got a dual battery um, system. Um, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to run through this, um, because I have already replaced my battery and redoing it will upset the, um, the computers and everything on the car. So just highlight the one you want and then click on the green tick down at the bottom and follow the instructions it couldn't be easier it will say turn ignition on turn ignition off um, at the end it will give you the option to clear the um, uh, fault codes um, allow it to do it click yes and let it reset um, all the um, the fault codes if there are any okay and that's it simples thanks for watching if you like this video Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.